Hey, welcome back to Diecast Cars. So today, guys, we are going to be talking about Hot Wheels NFT Series 7. And man, this was such a showstopper of a release. I mean, so many awesome castings to be had. Kind of like this Porsche 962. You got the Zamac GMC panel. And then the NFT H Lamborghini Aventador. And it's a standard format. You got the standard packs at $25. And then you got the premium packs at $80. So I had to get in there, get my feet wet, and try my luck at some of these awesome redeemables out of this set. And man, let's just take a quick look at the catalog here, just so we can see what are some of the other awesome cars that you can get out of this series. Again, we talked about the Lamborghini on the top of my list. I love that Lambo scrolling down here you got some rares you got some uncommons again digital cars not redeemable but still hey if nfts ever become a real thing we're gonna want them then you got the Datsun 510 wagon the one that is the one car everybody's gonna be shooting after within the series you got a dodge power wagon which is a redeemable for all the truck fans out there again non-redeemable r34 kind of a shame it does look pretty good in the red white and blue then you got the porsche 962 which is the other redeemable you got the zamac gmc panel that you can only get out of the premium packs scrolling up here we do have a pagani zonda r and you guys know i'm enamored with this casting since last year when it was first debuted but yeah the lambo my favorite lambo of all time hopefully i can pull that bad boy all right, so my strategy going into Series 7 was to get eight of the standard packs, maxing out the quantity that you could pick up. And the reason being is you wanna stretch out your dollar as far as you can. So for the price of a premium pack, $80, I could essentially get three standard packs, essentially tripling my odds of getting the Datsun 510 or the Lamborghini NFTH. But with that being said, guys, pack number one, Get excited every time you see that bone shaker do its little burnout. And we got a rare Aston Martin. And that's it. Well, first pack was a dud. Pack number two. Hoping for a better pull here. Got the bone shaker burnout. Come on. And darn it. Another rare, which from what I've seen, guys, it's pretty telltelling that you weren't gonna get a super rare. So no redeemable here, but I did get her R34 common version. And oh, look at that, an uncommon R34 as well too. Not much different other than you do get a shinier card. Pack number three, really hoping with fingers crossed that we get some better pulls here. Just waiting for the bone sugar to do its thing. And we got a McLaren F1, which looks pretty cool. And well, that's a bummer. Another Aston Martin rare. That's the second one in three packs. And another R34. I mean, I should be happy to get an R34, right? But not in this case. Well, that leaves us with five packs left. And on to pack four, watching the bone shaker do its thing. And we got an uncommon Audi, and there it is. Winner, winner. We got a Datsun 510, or the Katzen 510 wagon, as a lot of people are calling it because of the cool cat graphics. But man, that's it. That is a weight off my shoulders, guys. That is what we were after. Such an awesome car. Can't wait to get it in a redeemable. Pack number five. The Bone Shaker Buddy going at it. What do we got this time? Got a boss, 302, looks good in that blue, and the rare of death. Probably a dud, yep, a dud pack with another R34. It's like you get a rare with an R34 and you know you're done for. All right, Mr. Bone Shaker, what do we got? Pack number six, and oh man, guys, boom. We got the NFT H, the Super Treasure Hunt, of NFTs, the Lamborghini Aventador in that dark metallic blue. Wow, I can't believe it, guys. I've never gotten one of those. This is the third time I've done this NFT game. Never got the NFT H. All right, well, rounding this out, 
pack number seven. Now we get another Lamborghini Aventador, but this time just the common version. We got the, oh sweet, essentially the other redeemable that I wanted, the Pagani Zonda R, and a little uncommon Viper there at the end. Last pack, magic, fingers crossed. Give me some luck everybody, bone shaker, come on. Well, we got the McLaren F1 uncommon, we got another 4GT uncommon, and there it is, the rare. Honda Prelude looks pretty cool, but uh, non-redeemable, and that rounds us out. So, eight standard packs, that netted me three redeemables, but let's just quickly take a look at my collection here. Not bad, I mean, for eight packs... I mean, I got the 510, the Katzen 510 wagon. I got the NFTH, the Lamborghini. But yeah, Series 7. I mean, just the eight standard packs. And I filled up a good amount of the checklist. I mean, you can see for the most part, a lot of these cars are highlighted, which means I actually have them. There's the R34. I mean, honestly, if I bought a bunch of premium packs, I bet you I could fill this whole entire checklist. But unfortunately, I didn't. That's why I did not get that Zamac GMC panel van. And my last redeemable here, the Pagani Zonda R. And man, this is going to be a sweet piece. Can't wait. But yeah, let's just take a deeper dive into these redeemables and just try to understand why they're so sought after. Well, first and foremost, guys, look at that. The Aventador got a pretty low number, number 62, which means nothing, but... You know, out of an edition size of 1750, that's pretty low. I mean, we don't have any RLCs or even convention pieces that low anymore. So again, that adds to the rarity as to being a super treasure hunt for NFT. And then you got the Datsun 510 wagon, or as I've been calling it, the Katzen 510 wagon. And this is going to be one of the more aesthetically appealing NFTs that we've seen up to date. It is a super rare edition size out of 4275. It is a June of my casting, which just adds to that appeal. And yeah, I cannot wait to get this. I don't know if I can wait until April to pick this up. And last but not least, you got the Pagani Zonda R. This is the cast that I said in 2022 was my favorite new mainline release. And man, it still leaves me jaw dropped to this day with the last couple of recolors. But again, a super rare. Same edition size as the 510 wagon, 42.75. And yeah, can't wait can't wait this thing is going to be beautiful in hand so i guess until april and when the time comes to redeem those nft series 7 redeemables these will have to do you got the paganis on the r this is the first edition the one that i custom wheel swapped and then you got the lamborghini aventador this is a matte black and i believe the nft is going to be more of a dark metallic spectra flame that's just going to look so good and then pretty close to the Datsun 510 wagon you got the mystery models Datsun 510 wagon that came out back in 2018 same green base color but different graphics but man I just cannot wait but to go back and talk about the strategy that I had going into NFT series 7 I would say that I was pretty successful I think my strategy worked out pretty good maybe a little better than what I expected and not saying that this is a guarantee every time but again if you think about it $25 for a standard pack you can buy more of them versus buying the premium packs which you are guaranteed a redeemable but you never know which one's going to be and you don't know if it's going to be the one you want so I think in this case when there was multiple redeemables that I wanted you have to play the quantity game in order to give yourself better odds of getting the cards that you want from a financial standpoint, guys, a Hot Wheels investing side of things, I put down $211 on eight packs at $25 a piece. I ended up getting three redeemables, the first being that Katzen 510 wagon, which right now it's listing on eBay for about three to $400, which is very high, guys. But I feel like when all the dust settles, it'll probably be around a $200 car. 
Then I was fortunate enough to pull that NFTH Lamborghini Aventador, which right now, no surprise, it's listing for 400 plus on eBay. But again, when the dust settles and clears, I think it'll be right around a $300 car. And last but not least, I got that Pagani Zonda R in that red Spectra flame. That honestly, aesthetically, I feel like I'm going to really enjoy that in person. That one does actually have a sold listing on eBay. Believe it or not, it's only been a couple of days since the NFT drop, but we got a sold listing on eBay for $100, and that's about what it's listing for too. So all in all, guys, that's $600 worth of nfts on 211 dollars 3xing my money guys 200 percent gains that's unbelievable so yeah i mean i hate to break it to all the folks who are not on the nft bandwagon just yet i mean there is some real opportunities when it comes to nfts there are real cars associated Yes, there is a gambling aspect to it, but it's actually really fun. And I think Hot Wheels has made it lenient enough to where it leans in the favor of the buyers and the collectors. I think at the end of the day, everybody will at least walk away with the value that they put into it. Again, I would say if you're going to do NFTs, don't just go in and buy one pack and expect the NFTH gold card, right? But go into it being realistic play the odds and i'm pretty sure you'll be happy with the results but that's what i got for you guys today let me know what your strategy was with nfts like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time on die cash cars